show you some of our uh, music inspired artwork for the month of May. So Morgan has planned out a composition for you. And we're going to look at the artist Henri Matisse, or Henri Matisse. Henri Matisse. To be a French. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get into that, I want a big thank you to Sherry Armstead and Symmetry Gallery, who are our season sponsor. So big thanks for making live art mini possible. So if you're looking for some artwork outside of all the awesome stuff that we do here at Inside Out Studio, go check out Symmetry Boutique and Gallery on Sims Road in Fairfield. They also have handmade, one-of-a-kind artwork over there, too. All right. We always like to do a little, say, meet and greet. So first of all, is there anyone special you want to say hi to today, Morgan? Um, I want to say hi to my mom and to all the fellow artists that may tune in today. Um, and, uh, and to all of our viewers. All right. And then I also say we're going to talk about Shift in a little bit. We are going to talk about Shift in a little bit. It's our yes. first fundraiser of the year. It's on May 15th. It's coming Saturday at River's Edge in downtown Hamilton. Music, food, live art, and Morgan and I. Circus performers. Yes, it's going to be it's going to be epic. Yes, I love that. It's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. So you should be there. There's still some squares left to purchase. You can follow the links in the comments for that or check out some other Facebook posts. But Morgan and I have something special planned for you that night. We'll talk about it at the end. How about that? Yes, sounds good. Cool. So one thing I did learn about Morgan last week when we were prepping for Live Art Mini is she has a special skill. Do you want me to reveal it or would you like to? You can tell them what it is, and then I'll demonstrate it. All right. <laughs> Before we... Mysteries building. But Kathleen Honeycutt's out there. She says hi. So hi, Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. We'll see you soon. Morgan's special talent is that she can say her name and other people's names backwards. I can. <laughs> Such as your name is... So my name forwards is Morgan Gattermeyer, and in reverse is Nagram Rayam Ratag. Ragram Ram the Tag. <laughs> <laughs> and I've selected two different um, music artists to say in reverse to see if Steven can figure out who I'm talking about. That's right. It's quiz show time. Yes. See, see how quick I am today. <laughs> so I have a pretty easy one and then one that's not as easy. Okay. So the first one is Gruel. Can you, for, <laughs> can you say that again slower for me? <laughs> Droll. Droll? <laughs> Lord. Yes. Hey. Yes. Look at that. Give me a point. All right. One point. <laughs> okay. And then the other one is Edal Malambrachna. Oh, that's going to take a minute. <laughs> Edal. Edal. <laughs> Edal or Edal? Loan? Loan or load? I'm not sure if we're going to make it through this live art mini today. <laughs> Edal. 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 Laid. Edal. 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 I'm, I'm, I either need to call a friend or get a hint at this point because I'm struggling here. Okay, let me just say the second name. Okay. Malimba. <laughs> Malimba. I think we just need to, you just need to let me know. I, I'm not going to get this one. I'll tell you right now. Lady Antebellum. Lady Antebellum. I would not have gotten that one. It would have been half a, an hour long live art mini just to have Stephen guess every band in the world. <laughs> You got, you got one point. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. But you have a great skill. So saying names backward, that's fun. I like it. So what we prepared for you today is it's music themed month in May. So we're doing a paper collage. And Morgan picked a song. And if you would say it forward, <laughs> that way I <laughs> it uh, is. let us know your song and your inspiration for your image. Okay. So I picked the song Rain On Me by... Ariana Grande and Lady Gaga, and my inspiration for my piece was to have somebody standing in the rain with their arms out and having rain falling on them. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to go ahead to the creativity camera here, the overhead shot, so you can show what you came up with for your sketch. We always do like initial sketches, practice it out. And then once again, this area here, people are seeing live. Yes. As if they are you. Right. So yeah. before I show, I just want to remind everybody that there is no such thing as perfect. Nobody is perfect, including my drawing. So this is the idea that I had for the drawing. And we are going to... I'm just zooming in right now. So oh, okay. keep describing what you came up with right there. Um, um, we are going to use a few different bright colors to make this pop. And we're going to have an image of a person standing with their arms out like it's raining on them. And we'll have raindrops and some thunder clouds and some lightning bolts in our picture as well. Very good. And all of this will be made with paper, paper. cutouts. So we're going to do a collage based upon Henri Matisse. So he was a, a, he was a painter himself, but then he moved to collages later in his life. And then Jean Sparks is out there watching. She said she can't wait for shift. We can't either, Jean. Nope. Hi, Jean. I hope Dwayne's doing well and watching too. All right, we're going to show some Henry Matisse. So yes. this is probably his most iconic image. He actually did a full book of collages based upon his love of jazz. So trying to capture the essence of music in the visual form. So yes. one artwork to another, music to visual. So we're going to just do a, a critique, a quick review of some of these images. I've asked Morgan to give her opinion on what she thinks about his collages and how it represents music. So are we starting with this picture up right now? Yep, we're going to do right. that. So I love this picture. I feel like the yellow spots in the picture could be representing her beats or different different parts of the music that are like ups and downs. I like the way that you can like look at the person and it kind of looks like they're moving. And then the it the heart of music, which I think is really cool and there's a little little heart in our person as well in that paint in that drawing. Yeah. And that collage. Yep, I like this one too. It feels like someone dancing, but also makes me think of someone just like floating through the sky. Or like the yellow and spark, like them sparks in the background. They could be stars. But I also think about you know, my small knowledge of jazz music, which is like high notes coming from a trumpet or a snare might be represented by the sparks in the background. Hi, Mom. Oh, Pam's out there watching. Hey, Mrs. Gadmeyer. Hope you're having a great day. Let's jump to another collage here. What do you think about this piece? This is a very unique piece to me. Um, I like how there are so many different colors and shapes. It's very abstract. And the feel that I get from it is maybe how the music makes you feel. It makes you feel not just one way or... You know, there's a lot of different things happening in the painting, just like there could be a lot of different things happening in music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this makes me think of loud. I feel like whatever music they're inspired by is just very loud. Lots of things going on. Horns, drums, loud guitar, represented through those colors. There's another image here. This is more representational, because you can see imagery. Yes. Even though it's abstract, you can still... You there's feel like a there's a narrative going on. Yeah, like there's the guitar yeah. and different colors um, in this one as well. And I feel like this one's more of like a nature-esque piece, like being one with nature, like you're one with music. Yeah, it does have a spiritual feel to it. It does. Like the black and white image on the right seems like either like a dancer or a singer. Someone responding to the music being played by the figures on the left. It looks like there's a turtle um, in the bottom corner there. He's yeah. playing a, his shell like a drum. Yep, no offense to Matisse, but I always, when I see this, I always <laughs> think, like, it's a frog, man. But he's, like, playing a bongo down there. Well, and the wonderful thing about art is every, every single piece that you look at 
is going to look different to somebody else because it's the eye of the person looking at it that sees different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like the bold colors in this too. You got a lot of black and white areas, but then you got some strong magenta, a really bold blue, yellow, green. Yeah. It's like some very, very bold colors there. And they all work really well together. Yep. I like the composition. I'm going to fade over here to this one. Here's another uh, it say, looks figurative like a image. Person, yeah. Um, I just lost all my thought process. Um, That's all right. It happens. It does. <laughs> it's not stage fright, I promise. Um, this image, it kind of looks like there's like a whole. It could be a person. And then in the top, it also looks like a face kind of looking down at them dancing. Okay. So kind of like somebody yeah. who's like in the spotlight and dancing and it's showing somebody who's watching them. Yeah, I like that. I interpret that as a sun. For me, this is kind of like a late night, maybe someone that just loves to dance and they're doing their own thing after the party's over, hanging out with like a huge red moon above them. Yeah. And then the last one we're going to look at is this collage, which is a little bit different. There's, how would you describe that as different from the others? It's different because, to me, there's a lot of similar shapes, and it just kind of looks like a collage of maybe wilderness to me that looks a bit like wilderness to me yeah it's very organic kind of leaf forms tree yeah. forms in there i like the layering of it and if it is inspired by music it makes me think of the layering of different types of music that you have or like the layering of instruments yep yeah it's like all the symphony or all the band playing together mm -hmm. it's like the group makes it it's overall like whole playing chords exactly so I really like the layering on this too, and I really appreciate this for the fact that it's a paper collage. And think about the amount of time it would have oh, to yeah. take to cut out all Each those thin little piece sections. And waiting for one section to dry before you do the next layer. And mm -hmm. oh yeah, very good. All right, we're going to jump back to the overhead shot and let's talk about your plan. So you have your sketch here, yes. but then you had to choose colors for everything: background, yes. person, clouds. And you've got some prepared already, so you can go ahead and start to assemble some things okay. and just talk us through it. So, we are going to use... What's our background color going to be? Our background color is this turquoise blue. Okay. And we are going to start by... Adding a few lightning bolts, mm -hmm. which I cut out in yellow. Mm. Very good. Are you going vertical or horizontal? What's your choice there? Yes. Okay. We're going to go both ways. <laughs> We're going to feel the music. They're going to go a little bit, a little bit both, a little bit horizontal, a little bit. And so I was going to give you a, a sheet over here to the side. So if you are doing some collaging at home. It's always good to get edge to edge with the glue stick, and we would recommend the glue stick because if you got Elmer's glue or liquid glue, sometimes it can bubble up under the surface and create some bumps. The glue stick goes on nice, and if you use a side sheet of paper, it keeps it from getting everywhere on your background. It also gets on your hands. It does. Very cool. I like how that yellow pops against the turquoise. Got the warms against the cools. After you got those first two down, now we can think about pulling in some musical elements visually, like rhythm and movement. Mm -hmm. So if you want to think about how those lightning bolts could direct your eye around there, it could 
They don't have to necessarily stay in the sky because there's really no rules with mm-hmm. art. Very true. So you can choose to move them down around. You can choose to move them down this way. Or they could all stay up. Let's say rhythm would be like one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Movement would be having them point to each other to lead your eye around the paper. But it's a choose your own adventure, so that is up to you. And we have different sizes, lightning bolts, too, for a little diversity. Okay. I would say unity and variety are two good keys for artwork. You want some similar things to make it go together, but then a little variety, such as the shapes and sizes of your lightning bolts, to make it more interesting. I'm going to turn our studio music down for just a notch. Then before you get your last or second to last one glued down, I'm just going to show one thing Morgan was doing was it's always nice to draw things out first so you know where to cut or to have a plan. So if you see on the side she's gluing down, there's the line drawing. So one of the things about artwork is craftsmanship and also you know hiding some things that might look a little bit rough around the edges. So it's very easy to draw out the shape on one side, cut it out, and then flip it over just so it looks nice and clean and neat. Yes. I'm trying to find a part on the paper that doesn't have glue stick on it. Yeah, we can always switch out your paper too. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'll have this one stay. Maybe I'll have that one up here. Okay. Because we don't just have lightning bolts, we also have raindrops that we can help with feeling the music around too. Gotcha. And we hear that Clara Bashir is watching out there. So hello to Clara. Thanks for tuning in today. Hello, Clara. See our musical collage. And then before we move on to the next step, we're going to get a, a word from our sponsor, Sherry Armstead, and her daughter Debbie over at Symmetry Gallery. So they created a new video for us. I'm Sherry. I'm here with Debbie at Symmetry. And I just wanted to take a minute to say how happy I am to sponsor an organization that provides an opportunity in studio environment for artists with disabilities to produce, market, exhibit, and sell their work and receive an income. Fantastic. And we here at Symmetry invite you to come shop with us and visit us at our store at 1000 Sims Road. Mention that you've watched this live today and you'll receive 10% off your next purchase. I look forward to seeing you. See you soon. All right, we are back. So thank you very much, Sherry and Debbie. That's very generous of them. They've offered yes. a discount if they mention Live Art Mini. The fact that they saw you today and uh, Live Art Mini in general. So that's awesome. Yes. Uh, all right, Morgan, what's your next step? So our next step is we are going to cut out some clouds. So. Should I locate a pencil for you? Oh, please, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. So. I think we'll do four clouds. You do like even numbers. I love even numbers. And you like odd numbers because there's always a middle. That's right. I listen. All right, four clouds. Scissors? Scissors. Like you're a surgeon. <laughs> I was about to say scalpel. Mm-hmm. 
So when cutting out, when you have multiple... It's possible to cut flex. That way we can see what's going on there. I cut out one of my clouds, but not all the way. And I don't cut it out right on the line when it's on the big sheet. Because it's just a little difficult to, to do. So I cut out one and then I can get a more detailed cut. Yep, that's right. Maybe just flip it over to hide those pencil lines. <clears throat> but you are correct. <clears throat> Cutting out that <clears throat> frog in my throat just jumped right in there. <laughs> Cutting out the general shape and then going back for some, you know, the, the edges, the details, some inner cuts works much easier. What are you going to use for your person? Black. Black. Okay. All right. We are at the fifty. Halfway there. Fifty percent. Fifty, 50 mark. Completed. Fifty yard mark. With clouds. I don't know. <laughs> only, can you say it's only partly cloudy right now? <laughs> We're moving towards mostly cloudy. Mm -hmm. Guarantee you, by the end of this, it will be raining. But um, but um, scissors are hurting my hand. Is your figure a male or female? Female. Okay, I was going to say it could be raining men, but it's not. Nope, that's not the song. Although that would have been clever. <laughs> it's raining men. Nope. Hallelujah. So when you finish that last cloud, I'm going to go run and grab a white colored pencil since you're going to be working on black paper. Okay. Because pencil wouldn't go so well. It's hard to use black with anything. Like if you're using black glass. It's hard to see if you use a marker to draw out your shape and black paper. You can use a white colored pencil or a crayon, and that's nice. But with glass, it's very almost impossible to see your markings. It is. All righty. Thank you. I'll take your scraps. You dropped them. My apologies. All right, so maybe we just lay out the clouds on your composition first to see where they might go. Oh, yes. I'm trying to do too many things at once. And I was going to give you the advice of since your, your lightning bolts are very jagged, bright, and stand out a lot, which is kind of going in a very dynamic formation, either the clouds or the raindrops <laughs> could be more patterned. Okay. That way it's kind of like... A, it's a balance of the two. One's dynamic and one's more subtle pattern. Okay. That would be up to you, though. And overlapping is also allowed. I always like to let people know that. So if you do happen to have either raindrops or clouds going over top of the lightning bolts, perfectly fine. I like that. I like that. I like that. Nice and centered. I'm going to scoot that down for the camera. A little more. I'll just scoot the camera. How about that? <laughs> there you go. I like your color palette as well. It's very Thank you. Bright. We talked about the song was called Rain On Me. My initial thought was that it was going to be like a sad song or a downer, but it actually said it was more of a pop, dance, upbeat piece. Yep. So good reasoning for your color for that. Another reason I like bright colors when you're talking about rain is 
Just because it may be a rainy day doesn't mean it has to be a bad day. If it's a rainy day, you make the day what you want it to be. Yep. And you can say that about sunny, sunny days or rainy days. But on a rainy day, you could have the best day of your entire life inside your pets or reading a book or watching TV watching a good movie you like me and don't like to read making art in the studio making art in the studio <laughs> <laughs> Woo this cloud doesn't like me yep blue is problematic the more you work with it, the more it gets on you. Overlap. And there are my clouds. They're good. I like the overlap. Right. For your composition, you have that central figure placed down here, arms outstretched, raining on them. I'm just going to put your sketch back in the view here. Okay. Um, so one thing Morgan critiqued about herself is she wasn't happy with the, how the right arm came out. So we talked about ways to make it symmetrical. Uh, what we've come up with is we're going to fold the paper in half and pretty much draw half of a body. So you want to, can I draw on this? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So you would just... Pretend that there's a line going straight down the middle of the person. And you would only draw one half of the body, so you can visualize that before we jump onto the black color paper. But pretty much just half the head, one arm, half the body, and a leg. And after you draw that, we would just cut it out while it's folded. And then unfold it, and then you'd have a full person. Yep. Just scoot this out of the way for you. And if you want to go ahead and fold that really anywhere. That or yep. like that? I'd say if we're going to conserve paper, we would just be cutting out this side. So if we fold it right here. Do you prefer drawing the right side of a body or a left side of a body? <laughs> left side of a body. Right Apparently. So you just start with the head, arms, and leg. We'll go from there. Like I said, white colored pencil, that way you can see it on the black paper. And then we would just flip it inside out and then put the, the pencil side down. Another trick for if you're tracing or doing preparatory drawings on things that you, you might paint over or you might draw over top of is using chalk, because chalk can always be brushed off. I'm saying that's more for doing a painting or working on a wall. All right, and then you would just start cutting out around those lines. she's doing that, I'm going to give you some more details on shift. You can follow the links online to purchase a square of four. So one square is $240, and that gets four people into the event. And it goes from 7 p.m. to 11 o'clock on Saturday, May 15th. I'm going to switch to our regular camera here. You can, you can cut away, but people are watching you right now. Uh -huh. So Saturday, May 15th, River's Edge, 7 to 11. So what that square of four gets you is a full night of entertainment. We've got three different... Uh, shifts of DJs. We've got three different shifts of live art being painted on stage, as well as other artwork from Inside Out Studio artists. A lot of our artists will be there. A lot of our supporters are going to be there. You've got amazing food from two women in the kitchen. You've got drinks from Municipal Brew Works, as well as some domestic options. We've got circus performers, like Morgan mentioned, LED jugglers, stilt walkers, fire spinners. It's going to be an amazing night. And there is Morgan's person. Look at that, symmetrical. Very good. 
And I said that Morgan and I had something special for that night planned. We're actually going to be up on stage during the final shift of the evening, and we're going to be making a collaborative painting together. And on the other side of the stage, our artist Brett Garrett is going to be working with local Hamilton artist Logan Walden on a collaborative piece as well. So we both said we had some Hamilton-themed pieces for you. I was going to hand this to Morgan because this is the motivational piece that she picked out, her inspiration. That is the fountain at Markham Park, right next to River's Edge. And here's the sketch that we came up with today. So it's gonna be about a three by four foot painting. We've got the Markham Fountain, but there's a subtle word in the background, and that word is? Home. That's home, because we both live here and we both love the community. So we're gonna be doing a graffiti inspired piece of the fountain, fireworks in the sky, live on stage during ship three. So it's gonna be awesome. We're looking forward to it. Any parting words for people out there today, Morgan? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today, and um, if you try collaging at home, um, remember what I had said earlier, nobody's perfect, and take your time. All right. So thanks, everyone, for watching today. We're going to pop back in here. Next week, we're going to be featuring Mr. Mark Utzen. We're going to be doing a music piece, and music-inspired glass piece. Mark, you want to say hi to everyone out there today? We are on live right now. Can you say hi? He didn't notice, so. All right, we'll check in with Mark next week. Thank you for tuning in today.